Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here. So today we're going to talk about mechs. Now you see them in so many games and in all sorts of shapes and sizes from the vaguely human sized ones like Overwatch's D.Va and the mechs from Hawken to the titans from Titanfall that are several stories tall. And that's before you get onto the skyscraper sized behemoths in games like Mech Warrior. Now, I'm not ignoring Japanese mecha, of course, I'm just sticking with the Western equivalents to keep them all sort of within the same realm. But the real question is, would a mech actually work in real life? Well, the first thing, in order to have functioning mechs, we need to overcome two main problems. Balance and weight. Let's start with balance. Now, humans are one of the few bipedal organisms in the natural world. There are others, but compared to the main methods of locomotion, bipeds are comparatively rare. And this is because balancing on two legs is actually fairly difficult. Humans use a complex system of inner ear fluids, as well as a variety of other sensors, including the eyes, to maintain a natural form of balance. In order to get a machine doing the same thing, we need a means of mechanically doing this, and that is actually surprisingly difficult. One example includes main battle tanks. See, tanks use a system of gyroscopes that are spun up and they maintain a sense of equilibrium once they're at speed. And any disturbances to this equilibrium is then measured by sensors and that allows a network of computers in the turret to compute adjustments that ultimately stabilize the main gun. And this allows them to maintain near perfect accuracy while moving, even at high speeds. So it's theoretically possible for a similar system to then allow bipedal machines to maintain a sense of balance. However, not only would there need to be a system to compute balance adjustments, but the servos and motors that move the legs would have to be fast enough to make those adjustments to compensate. But this brings me to the next problem. Weight. Mechs would undoubtedly be fairly heavy due to the amount of equipment needed to power it and keep it in balance, and that's before you add on armor and weapons. This means that legs either have to be kept fairly light so they can be moved quickly, or you would need a large system of motors that can keep the legs moving quickly. Just imagine what happens when someone pushes you. Your legs actually move very quickly to keep yourself from falling over, and at the same time, you move your rest of your body to stabilize. Think about how fast you can move to stabilize yourself, and then imagine a robot having to do the same thing. Now there are such machines in development by a company called Boston Dynamics and I'm sure you've seen the YouTube videos before and these robots are able to stabilize themselves but not before significant amounts of movement have already taken place. And these robots are very small compared to the size of the mechs we see in games. In addition, weight poses other problems, the chief among which is ground pressure. Amongst the heaviest of all military vehicles in present arsenals of many countries are indeed main battle tanks and the current generation of tanks weigh in at over 60 metric tons. However, because the majority of these vehicles used tracks, the weight of the vehicle is actually spread out over a wider area, and this prevents them from sinking into the ground when they travel and stops them from ripping up the roads they drive on. The Leopard 2 MBT, for an example, has a ground pressure of just 0.83 kilograms per square centimeter, or 11 pounds per square inch. By comparison, the average human generates just 8 pounds per square inch of ground pressure. And ground pressure is dependent on the weight of the vehicle and the size of the contact area that's touching the ground. So for a mech that weighs as much as a tank does, you would need it to have feet the same size as the tracks of a tank, or you'd end up sinking into the ground. And sure, there are many other problems with bipedal mechs that would just not allow them to exist. These are only a few of the problems, but I'm sure we could go on at length about all of the other problems associated with mechs that you typically see in games. But for now, we may just have to settle for bipedal robots being able to walk around within our lifetime, but I don't see the military trading in their tanks for mechs any time soon. And as a lover of mechs, I would absolutely love to see them come to life, but until we can sort out these problems, it may never happen. But what do you guys think? Will militarized mechs ever become a thing? Is this all just a pipe dream? And if you could build a mech of your very own, what would it be like? Let me know down in the comments below, and don't forget to leave a like if you've enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. My name is Panzer, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.